I have just possibly found another use case for multimodal models. Introducing Fuyu Heavy, the world's third most capable multimodal model behind GPT-4 Vision as well as Gemini Ultra, which is Google's new model. Now, these are models that are 10 to 20 times larger. Now, in particular to Fuyu, it actually outperforms Gemini Pro at both MMLU as well as MMMU in terms of the benchmarks. But you might be wondering, what does it actually do? Well, just take a look at this example. We got some great news coming out of the Patreon page as we have a couple more subscriptions being given out this month. Now, this month we had a total of four different subscriptions being given out to our Patreons and this just shows how unique and how amazing this community is. We've been focusing really, really hard on providing you guys with the best content as well as the best applications for free for just simply joining our Patreon page. You not only access subscriptions, but you access resources, collaboration, networking opportunities, and so much more. Definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below if you want to access our private Discord. Now, just take a look at this demo video, which is showcasing how you can ask various different types of questions regarding the image you infuse or other types of files you might be infusing into this multimodal model. In this case, it's asking it different types of metrics that are shown on this uh, image over here. So in this case, it's asking what's the abandon rate for the e-commerce store. And we can see it gives you the percentage. This next example is asking it how many tabs are opened. And we can see that it even processes the smaller details of an image. So it showcases that there's four tabs that are open. In this case, it's asking what is the total amount higher for hardware or software? and it analyzes all the metrics, different types of things in this statement over here, and it gives you the best generated answer or the answer that is best fit to what your question is. Now, this is quite amazing to me, guys, because imagine what you can actually do with this. There's many different possibilities. It will definitely streamline the process of manual labor of possibly data entry or so much more. So definitely stay tuned as we go to explore this a little bit further. And as we uncover what you can actually do with Fuyu Heavy. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI. Definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Fuyu Heavy. This is a new innovative multimodal model, which is tailored specifically for digital assets. It's positioned as the world's third most capable multimodal model, and it competes with larger counterparts like GPT-4 Vision, as well as Gemini Ultra. Now, Fuyu Heavy excels in multimodal reasoning, and it is quite standout with features being with its impressive UI, with different types of understandings as to processing these UIs, which is something that we saw at the start of the video, and this is something that you can see currently on the screen. It outperforms Gemini Pro on MMMU benchmark, and it showcases that it is quite well in traditional multimodal benchmarks. Now, despite allocating capacity to image modeling, Fuyu Heavy is something that can match or even surpass models in the same compute class. This is on standard text-based benchmarks, as well as having the model scalability, which is something that we can basically talk about as we go into the research paper. It demonstrates the adaptability that is showcasing the architecture for handling diverse image sizes, as well as various different types of shapes with efficient leveraging in the overall process of the transformer optimization. Now, this is something that we're going to cover as we go further into the video, as you explore the research paper, explore what you can do with it, and basically talk about the timeline for this launch. Now, we have seen how this basically functions with a UI, but let's take a look at prompt examples. Now, this is something that is focusing on the task to determine the most likely cause of food poisoning outbreak based on this given uh, table. Now, this is the adapt model, which is going to take the approach to focus on the problem by calculating the percentage of different types of people who eat each type of food. Now, this is where it's provided the table list of different foods. We see there's cold chicken, you have potato salad, egg sandwiches, fruit pie, as well as cream and cheese. Now, these are the respective number of peoples who have ate 
the or consume that food and the number of people who got sick after consuming that food. Now, ADAPT or the model, you can say a few model is something that then calculates the percentage on how many people got sick for each item they actually consumed. And this is by dividing the number of sick individuals by the total number of people who ate the specific food. You can see that after performing these calculations, it states and identifies that potato salad was the one that had the highest percentage of people who ate it and got sick. They stated that it was 70.4 percentage wise then it basically showcases that it's quite great at doing analysis it can focus on various different types of metrics and it can process tables such as this one it's something that can do quite well in reasoning and this is why this model brought me the attention to showcase this on this channel because it truly has a lot of potential and it's something that we should definitely take a look at as we go further into the months now at this moment you cannot actually access this but this is something that i'm currently working towards in getting connection with the company that is creating this model i want to provide some accounts that can probably access this faster than the generic population can and this is by joining the patreon page so if you're interested in that take a look at the link in the description below where you can access our private discord and where you can get amazing perks like this so how do they actually develop this product but this is something that the team has been actually aiming to achieve and that's the universal general intelligence concept this is something that they are focusing on by connecting different agents in the digital world now prior to the scaling up of the few architecture they focused on building a robust tool set as well as establishing a foundational model design this was their original model which is the few 8 billion parameter model this is by scaling the few architecture but it presented many different challenges especially when they incorporated different types of image data that led to different tweaks in architecture and training procedures ADAP basically focused on addressing these issues and they outlined a reference research paper on vision transformers this is the research paper that they basically created where they scaled vision transformers to 22 billion parameters they scaled their original 8 billion parameter model with this research and they had it so that they developed a new model called VIT 22 billion this includes training instabilities that were dealt upon as well as increasing the efficiency in model parallel training. Now, Fuyu Heavy has been overcoming these channels and it's setting to basically create this new product where it has learned from its previous mistakes and they have basically created this new product that can process different types of multimodal capabilities. It's something that has been fully functional at this current moment and this is that's where you saw that demo video which showcased that and it's something that will be accessible fairly soon so definitely stay tuned as i post more updates on it now let's take a look at some of the evaluation metrics that showcase its performance in comparison to other models like gemini pro as well as other ones that are stated over here well we can see that this is the strongest multi-model model that's trained outside of google or open ai and this is according to commonly used benchmarks such as mmlu as well as mmmu now despite the inherent trade-off between these large language models as well as the multimodal capabilities we can see that few heavy performs completely with gemini pro as well as on different types of benchmarks with other models like rock it's quite well on standard text only evaluations and it surpasses quite well on widely used mmlu benchmarks now the model also has been able to demonstrate proficiency in long form conversations where it matches claude 2 and this is quite well because it does quite well on the mt bench and even on the apaca evaluation 2.0 benchmark now in this realm of multimodal benchmarks we can see that few heavy is slightly outperforming gemini pro on mmmu which is attaining this robust score and it's something that is quite remarkable because this is a company that i truly didn't even hear about completely honestly and i am shocked to see a model like this being on par with something like google's uh, gemini pro model it's just great to see something like this being released and i'll leave all these links in the description below now as i stated before in the video you can't actually access this at this current moment but you can apply for 
a reserved whitelist or not even a whitelist, but you can say a reserved spot to try out their beta access. So if you're interested in that, definitely take a look at the Patreon link as I'm working on connecting with these guys to possibly give out an expedited pass to access their beta. But in the meantime, you can check out their blog post, which is showcasing various different examples on what you can actually do with this and some of the usability or the capability, sorry, as to how you can access this tool and what you can actually do with it. But that basically concludes today's video on Adapt's Fuyu Heavy Model. I truly believe that this is a great step forward in the world of AI as there's this new multimodal model that brings in a lot more usability as well as a lot more functionality in today's world. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave all these links as to what I used in today's video in the description below. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you guys haven't already. Make sure you follow us on Twitter to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.